Hey everybody, how are you? It's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Um, rainy Sunday night. Might be kind of loud. My family is now watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So a lot of swashbuckling going on downstairs. Um, if you don't want to see all the stuff I'm about to show you, fast forward now to the good stuff because I'm going to take a good five minutes and show you all the stuff I've been working on because it's been kind of crazy with really weird results on things. So um, first up, results from uh, two videos ago. That was, what I do with it? That was this guy that I tilted the hell out of. I think it goes like this. Um, I still love it, love it, love it. I love like the stacking here, it looks like rocks. I love how shimmery it is from the iridescent paints. I love how you turn it this way. It looks all dark and moody, and this way is all bright and sunny. Um, it dried great. Really kind of happy with it. It's very rocky. Um, lots of interest, lots of cool things to look at. It looks like a melting glacier to me, or a landslide, a rock slide, or something, but um, it's cool. So happy with him. He's just hanging out, waiting to be resin. Um, and then last video, I was doing the um, blow dry with the flowers. Um, I haven't advertised these two. These were the first two. They're dry. They haven't been varnished. They're still at the tape on the back. Um, but there's the first two. They're pretty cool. Pretty happy with them. I forgot to bring up the little blue guy. And then the other two are these. And I just put the polycolic on these. So there is one that well reminds me of an iris. So really like that one. And then the other one, the last one I did was this one here. This one's already sold in off to California uh, in a couple of days. It's actually like all ready to go. That's how I finished the back. It has my stickers, has my information and the D-rings and wire and all cleaned up and all pretty. And uh, yeah, so those were those guys. And then I was bad and, and did some painting without you guys. I know, how dare I? Um, and I've been on this black and white kick, and I did two pours, one dry, totally weird, and um, I'm going to say boo to Master's Touch uh, canvas that you get at Hobby Lobby, boo hiss, because even though it has the stabilizer bar in the back, and this is only a, a 12 by 24, it's not that big, it warped like this so it has a big bump right here and another big bump here and where the bar is it's nice and flat and it has been sitting flat on my on the floor for a while now and it is not straightening out and because it bubbled like that this one side here i don't know if you can see it Just look at that how rocky and craggy and weird that is there um, which is nice because I'm always like loving the cells and the color combination and these guys here like there were some really nice things and then up here it dried rather smooth so really really bizarre but it's totally warped and I mean I'll let it sit around for a while and see if it straightens out but um, it's already been um, God when did I, I did this a couple weeks ago and it's still not not straightening out so boo hiss on the master's touch cradle wood boards and then finally I did one um, another one I tried again and this was another one where I was in the mood to like stretch the hell out of things and it was interesting because my paint was thicker and even though I stretched it a lot of the cells still kept their shape there's a bunch of wonky ones here but I love that I think they're really really cool and then these guys all kept their shape really nicely. And then they got wonky again down here. But very interesting. I like, like it a lot. It just, I didn't get enough gold or have enough gold in it. So I'm going to try again tonight. And then finally, um, what else? Um, the one I posted on the acrylic pouring page that everyone, like a ton of people liked was this guy here who's uh, dry now because I did him a while ago and finished and love him so, so much because the cells and the colors and this is the one, it goes like this because it has the little snake in the corner or whatever, the turtle, I'm not real sure. 
Um, really pretty. I do remember the colors. I might give this one a go again, but I know that I mixed up some of my own too, like this purple gray color um, was my own concoction. So I'm not sure I can replicate it, um, but it's really nice. So I thought, this is so nice, I'm gonna make prints. And I was all excited. So I took my photo and I sent it off to a print company and I had them make me, that's just an eight by eight. The original is an eight by eight, which is little. And I'm sorry, like, why didn't I make a big one? But you know, hindsight and all that. And so I sent off for a print here. And this one, I, I'm keeping the original because it's just like, it's too good. I, that stays in my personal collection. So I made a print to sell but I noticed like the prints were fine, but like, you know, the sides, you can tell it's a print cause it like doesn't spill over on that ledge the way the paint does like in the original. Um, cause someone was saying, how do you tell the difference? And I'm like, I can always tell because the paint spills over cause I put my tape just up to this, this line that runs across here. So that's how I can always tell. But this print will be available, this and a smaller version will be available on my Etsy site. So if you like it, go buy it. And then finally, how am I doing? My six minutes already. I did a big one um, about a week ago without you guys too, like a, an 18 by 36. And this one also bizarre because, I'll grab it in a minute. I was, I don't know if you remembered, I said I really didn't like the um, Stenlier Heavy Body White, and I wanted to kill it off, so it comes in this big bag, and it was, it was just so thick and gloopy, and I stirred it and stirred it and stirred it. Well, I didn't get all, all the lumps. One, it made a couple of cool effects, too, but I don't know what the interaction was, but the cells on this thing are either completely faded out or incredibly vibrant. It was sort of kind of a sandwich pour, at least in some of the cups. I think I did six cups, three of them were sandwich, and three um, had white, but w not a lot of white. So, and this one is, um, I was, I'm kind of on this kick, other than the black and white and gold, of uh, doing, um, you know how I did my Southwest theme? I think I'm gonna do a series on, on like um, Art Deco South Beach colors, so, look for a couple of uh, videos from me with those types of colors. And this is the first of those. Oh my God. And it's this guy here. And you can see he's kind of plain, like where the sandwich was. And then in the cups where it wasn't, it's like this. Now look at these cells. They either go from white to like kind of pale orange to like bright, bright orange. And you can kind of see the lumps and bumps in it, which will be covered when I resin it. Um, and then, let me see, am I going to knock anything over? Uh, here, same deal with the cells. They were either really faded or they had the white rings or they were really, really bright. So I was like, what's up with that? And then here's what the white did at the top. You see this here? It looks like a serious cloud running through my, uh, my peachy color. That's from the white, I guess, not... I don't know what it was doing. It's almost stringy, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So, I don't know. But that's, it's a pretty painting. Don't get me wrong. But there's just a lot of like weird little things that I hadn't seen before with the cells and the bumps and things. So, whew, I've been busy. Let's get down on the canvas and paint. So I'm gonna try this again. This is just another little uh, 10 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. And, oh, I look crooked as all get out, hold on. Um, I was gonna not try and knock this out quick. And if I have time and I don't, you know, year more on too, too long. Um, I just discovered last night, um, MCE Art, like Mickey E Art. Her name's Michelle, she's in New Zealand. I liked her within the first 30 seconds, just from listening to her talk before I even saw her artwork. Because she talks like me and uh, has a good time while she's painting. And I'm like, oh, this is a woman after my own heart. So shout out to her. And the video that I saw, she did um, a couple dips where you put down your paint, take your canvas and go and see what you get. 
and I used to do dips on coasters all the time. I used to make, when I first started out, dips and swipes, you know, I think they're all the uh, beginner things you do. Um, but she did a couple lovely ones. I'm like, oh, I haven't done a dip in forever. Maybe I'll do a dip. So maybe at the end of this video, I'll do one real quick. If not, I'll save it for another day. So with that said, my colors, fairly straightforward tonight. Big old cup of white, some black. Both of those are the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Um, last time I did it on those other two paintings, I used this gold, um, same brand. But this is a completely different shade of gold than all the other ones you get. So I decided not to use this gold and I'm using a combination of Liquitex Basics Gold. I killed off just a wee bit of Artist Loft Old Gold. And then I had Amsterdam's Deep Gold. But their Deep Gold is basically almost the same color as Liquitex's regular gold. Just like, if you can tell down here, just slightly, slightly darker. And I just took a little bit of all three to kill them off and make this color of gold. So this is what I'm gonna use instead. I'm gonna add more gold um, tonight to see if I can get it to show up. Um, I'm thinking I'm actually, I actually, I'm not gonna do flip and drag. I'm just gonna tilt the cups over and see what I get and do two cups. Um, Cause this isn't big enough to really flip and drag and I just don't feel like doing the three lines. So yeah. We'll just do this. Um, Pori medium recipe tonight, um, I made a batch to have it for later, is 12 ounces of Elmer's Glue Wall, four ounces of Floetrol, four ounces of, I got out my GAC 800, and no water. I didn't add any water, so you could tell this is like pretty thick and creamy without the water. And then I added water, 50-50 um, ratio, paint to PM, and then I added water for my consistency, what's a good color? I guess the gold to show you, which is hard because this is metallic, but kind of like that. That looks runny, but it's hard to tell with metallic. With the black, not so much. It leaves a trace at the in my paint for a nanosecond before it disappears. So maybe a little thinner than normal, but they all feel the same to me, so that's good. Get out my spot on treadmill silicone. Let me grab some gloves, cause what I put, where to put them? Let me take off my rings. And phew, man, I've talked a lot already. See what happens if I don't see you for a week? All kinds of stuff. Uh, gloves, gloves. Oh, here they are. Okay, got gloves. And. Um, I haven't shown you, I did, you saw one, um, the purple and orange video, that painting. I had deliberately haven't shown you that because I'm working on modifying that one. Um, so it's not ready to be seen yet. Um, I have another purple and orange one, same deal. So sorry about that. Okay. Phew. All talked out. I um, I taught three ladies today. We had a uh, acrylic pouring 101 right here in my kitchen, just very spot. That was a lot of fun. And uh, they all agreed on the same color scheme. So we did um, purple, yellow, and gray with white. And they all did fabulous jobs and are downstairs curing but I was pr proud of them and I forgot to add my silicone so it stopped right there I'm gonna just do a drop for this right here helps if you open it okay let me add three drops to this three of my black give that a stir 
All right, carrying on. So this should be pretty quick, hopefully. And the black. I think I'm going to do like white, gold, black, white, gold, black, white, and just keep rotating that around. Let's see what we get. Even though I'm probably going to get a bunch of gray, that's okay. I don't mind that. A little more black this go around. And I'm going to add gold again before we do. That way, if I add a barrier of gold, I'll just a little bit. I'll get some true black. I think you were asking for the song a little bit. Is that right? No, Echo, I wasn't talking to you. Please cancel. <laughs> that happens all the time. I don't know if you guys have the Alexa thingies, but she's always buttoning into my conversations. It's very nosy. I swear Amazon's like listening to everything we say. Looks like it's probably paint plenty of paint. But we'll go just a little more. Just to kill off the gold. Alright. See what we get. I'm not used to just using, you know, two colors like this. Usually not, not something I do. Okay, all gone with the gold. Do I want more black? Not really. I'll also kill off the white then. Well, I do. Um, I think it'd be fun to um, revisit dips. I was really like so much. Was so inspired by Michelle's. She had phenomenal results, and I used, like I said, I used to do them on coasters, but I never really did them on like a regular size canvas. I always did like little itty bitty things. I think the biggest I ever did was like a five by side five bleh, five by five um like canvas cards, like the cardboard covered in canvas the flat thingies so I think that might be kind of fun all right oh my tip I have a tip you probably already know this but in case you're new and you don't know if you have a canvas like this that doesn't feel taunt or it seems like it's a little concave in the middle a lot of people will take theirs and they'll steam them or they'll gesso them I'm lazy and I don't do any of that. I just turn on my faucet and get really, really super hot water. Stick this in, fill it up with water, kind of to like 10, dump it out. Give it a good shake to get out the excess water. And your canvas will be tight as a drum. I mean, tight. Um, it tightens up a canvas quicker, quicker than anything. So in case that's a problem for you. Um, it also works on finished canvases. Um, so if you have one that's already been painted on, it'll still do the trick. So, there we go. Yeah. 
how dirty are my hands? My hands are pretty clean. So for Valentine's Day, the other day, my husband, who knows the weight of my heart, or my stomach, ordered these chocolates from a company called Abdullah. They're in, where are they? They're in Minnesota. Abdullah chocolates, and oh my gosh, they are the bomb. They are the bomb. We've had them before. Um, and these ones here, and because I'm a chocolate snob and I only eat dark chocolate, he got me dark chocolate sea salt caramel. Oh yeah, made in Minnesota. Uh, so anyone who's in, in the Midwest, totally jealous if you have like an Abdullah shop. But they are so, so good with my tea. This chocolate. He got me those in a bag of um, chocolate almond dark coffee. Like I'm just in total, total heaven. So order it online. I'm telling you, totally worth it. Okay, now that I have a mouthful of chocolate, let's flip over some cups. Mmm. Ooh, I don't like that. I just messed that up. Where's all my gold? Damn it. Mmm. Mmm. It's moving around, yeah, go meet up. I know you're in shock, you're like, we were all cozy in the cup, what just happened? You know, I, ha I have got, one of my uh, things to do also is figure out how to avoid the damn caterpillars. Because I'm getting them all the time anymore no matter what I do you know like look even this guy caterpillar city like every they're just I can't escape them and I don't like them and they're bugging me and I can tell by looking at this by the striations I'm, I'm betting that as soon as I uh, take my torch to this we're gonna get some let's see Helps you turn it on, Karen. All right, let's try to go. See the lines running this way? I'm gonna cut across them. Maybe that way I won't get any. Oh no, see, they're still show up. They're like, oh yeah, you can't fool us. We're coming for you. Oh, I'm running out of uh, butane on this one. Oh no, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Ah, it's almost empty. Is there anything left? Oh yeah, that one just died. There's nothing. Let me get Rinky Dink the back up. Oh, he's almost dead too. See, look at him. I just, I can't escape them. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just decided right now that maybe I could counteract it by just making a boatload of cells, which I haven't done in a while either. So let's go old school and just make a ton of cells to hopefully negate some of that. All right. That one's dead too. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that was easy. And then go over this way. And then we'll come this way. 
Hey, can you guys not talk about that? I'm filming. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if you guys heard that. Uh, so, all right. Guys, let me come this way. Mm -hmm. I guess some of the gold's coming out. I don't like this right down here. So let me tilt some of that off and go go south or east or west or whatever. Let's just go this way. Maybe I just don't like this corner all that much. Some off that way. Oh yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye little caterpillars. Glad you took a dive bomb. All right, back in the middle with the paint. We'll go over this way. Look at all of them. Ugh. Totally annoying. I'm lefty. I'm going to flip it a second. That way I can put my hand up here. Because I'm going to save that part right there. Off. What do I got left? Right here. I get rid of another batch of uh, caterpillars? I think I can. I'll just do this. <sighs> Let me just straighten things out a second. Take a look. I like I like this whole part I hate this whole part I need to come over like it's kind of blank here which doesn't bother me and blank here so to me it looks it looks uneven um, I do like the brighter gold than the uh, artist loft gold though for sure There's some amazing cells right there I like how the caterpillars look when they're half off, half off the canvas, too. It just kind of amuses me. I'm going to go that way and just kind of, like, stretch some of this up a little bit, maybe. So, even though I'm going to lose these guys right here, which are totally awesome. That's a shame, but oh well. Easy come, easy go. Because they're definitely going to end up rolling off. Remember this way. Look at them. They don't want to go. Like, no! I don't want to. Well, I guess one of them. All right, got this over here closer. That didn't really work. All it did was like take all the caterpillars and like squish them. This this stretched out nice. Kinda. Maybe I come over my way still a little more even. Let me stop and stare. Let me see what I have. If I change the orientation so it's vertical like this. What does it look like? Because now I'm stretching out all the cells and they're looking rocky rather than round. Which actually, again, since I've been wanting to be, 
different, I guess. I kind of like that. I don't know. I guess it's not bad like that. Let me, uh, let me tilt this down for a second. I just want to see something. If I straighten it out this way. If that makes a difference in how it looks overall. It looks like rocks falling off a cliff is what it looks like to me. That's kind of cool. Like, doesn't look like boulders. Like someone's chucking boulders over. And they're going down the ravine. Do I like it down like that or up a little bit? I think I'm leaving it just like this. Ta-da! Still don't have all the gold I wanted in it. Still would have liked to see more. But what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna pour some on my sides right here and I'll get you guys done for a close up. There. Where's my spoon? Hold on, I need my spoon. I can't do it with the cup. some of this white there see all the drippings on my uh, on my tarp are all really gray so I kind of don't want to use them I'm trying to get like some actual black black I'm happy about the black black background though that kind of, that worked out great Where's your side? This one little spot. And one spot over here. Let me try the other cup. Some white. Oh, I'm sorry. I, sh I forgot. I should be doing this off camera. I should know better. I'm done now. The rest of it's covered. I don't know. I don't know if I like that top part. I really don't know if I like it. Like that. I don't. How do I feel about that? I like this. I don't like that. And I don't think it'll torch up. And I need to add butane to my, uh, yeah, deader than a door now. How about you? Are you dead too? You're pretty dead. And that's not going to do anything. Well, I have black left. gold do I have? Guess what I'm doing. You know what? I have this right here. It's a different shade of gold, but I don't even care. I'm going to mix up some more white. I have this big old thing of, um, and I'm gonna do a true dirty pour on this, where I'm gonna bomb the colors into the white and dump it on this canvas. I'm so funny. I try to talk myself into liking things, but I just like, I, I can't, I can't do it. I try all the time. And then I'm like, you know what? I just really don't like it. So there's my gold there. That's important. Just let me mix this up real quick. We'll be ready to go. Lickety split. Let's mix up the 
some gold. Now this is the Artist Loft gold, but really, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. It's not like I have big fat gold cells anywhere. All right, there's the gold. Mix up my white, I need some water. all bubbly now because I didn't get to let it rest but what are you gonna do the other thing we've been doing um, while I wasn't filming is we opened up the last of the boxes from the move which has been you know four months later but we were terrified because it was all of our um, I collect pottery from all the countries I've visited and we have an antique, um, what do you call it? A china cabinet, I guess, um, that's just off camera. And that's where I had all my colorful pottery. And I was uh, like so scared to look in there and see what got broken. And amazingly, nothing did. Not one thing. It was like a miracle. So uh, I spent the last couple days washing them and washing out the antique and I did not realize that the antique is the the um the china cabinet has been sitting there empty like a black hole in our dining room and when I put in all the pottery and, and put some pictures up on the wall it's like a whole new room like my husband and daughter are like, wow, it's so happy and cheery in here now. Like we just didn't, never even realized what a black hole it was in our dining room. Now it's all happy looking. I'll show you next video. It's too messy over there right now with boxes and whatnot. But it's just right off camera. It's not like I have to do much. All right. Do over and only have a little bit of black, so that's good. Um... Silicone. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts. I'm gonna put three drops in this. Stir it a little more hearty than I normally do. And we're just gonna dive bomb the colors into this cup of white. Can you see this? Yep, right here. So I'm gonna take my black first because there's only a little bit left. I'm going to pour a pie to get it to sink into that white. Woo, that's fun. I haven't done this in eons. That's fun. Whee! Look at that. White's all like, what the hell? I've been invaded. Throw some on top there. And let's dive bomb the gold. A little on top. And what do I want to do with it? Do I just want to pour it on there? And then tilt the hell out of everything? Or do I want to flip cup it and drag it around? Or let's just throw it on there. Be adventurous. That was fun too. To just chuck it. <gasps> that was a lot of fun. Still very anti anything organized. I don't know what my deal is. Keep it from running off. I like it better already and I haven't even done anything. I'm going to wipe off my hands and throw on some clean gloves. And I apologize, I need to take 30 seconds to uh, add butane to my torch. Fast forward.
Sorry about that. Gloves. Look at that. It's all dripping off the sides. If this doesn't work, maybe I will dip it. See what that does. Maybe that's the trick. You literally throw the paint on and then you won't get any damn caterpillars. I do kind of, I wish I have, do I have more paint left in here? A little bit of black. So I really do like, like the lines. The really skinny lines, yeah, I like that too. Okay. Cells looking good. No caterpillars to speak of. Let's move my stuff out of the way. Let's give this a tilt. I'm already happy with it though, I can tell. I'm like already happy. Go up there, lose a bunch of paint. I really even kind of like how you can see parts of the old pour here with the lines in it. Like, I think that's cool. I, just, I don't know. I just do. I think that's really cool. Hmm. What else do I want to do? But let me come down. Oh, no, let's go up because it's going to all have color in the one spot again. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it kind of just like this. Like that's the orientation. Like this is the top where I'm wiggling my um, finger on its way down. Let me stare. I'm kind of worried that there's so much paint on it that I, I should really tilt some more off. Maybe just like right there a little bit. Let me do that. Just send some off this way. And then come back. Keep my cells. Put that over there. <gasps> Yay! really really stoked that's cool that's what I'm talking about right there Wow I'll leave it there and, and zoom in but amazing amazing cells even though some of them are kind of clustered that's okay like it's making like the lines instead of it being a line it's like a line of cells like do to do to do to do everybody go for a walk hold hands and off they go and that, as I keep saying, I love the really, really super thin lines everywhere. Totally grooving on this. That's that's my best uh, one yet out of out of the three. So um, really have to worry about my sides, even if it's uh, showing the old stuff from before. I even think that's cool. Yep, looks amazing all around. Let me get you down on the canvas. That's twice now, back to back, I think. Or almost back to back, where I've wrecked the painting for the better. Hopefully, you guys think it's for the better. Let me know in the comments if you thought I was nuts for doing that. Um, but yeah, I love this one. Really, really do. How long am I been yammering on for? 44 minutes, 45 minutes. Gosh, let me bring you down. So you can see, so there's the top right there with those cells. Oh, wait, let me go over here. That corner there, amazing. And then where's my little chain of cells? Right there, isn't that cute? It's adorable. 
and then like the gold and then there's a little bit of the um, caterpillar from the previous pour and then the white cells here look awesome and then this is part of the previous pour too kind of wrecked with the lines going through it love that and we'll come up high and there she be super super happy like yay hope it dries well i'm gonna be nervous i'll be nervous i'm gonna pour again tomorrow and um do some dips or maybe blow some more flowers something fun and light and happy um so i'll see you guys real soon i promise take care bye bye <laughs>